This can happen to you, to me, to anyone. NBC4 responds to a chilling story about a Maryland man whose life literally was turned upside down because he shares a name and date of birth with someone who has a criminal background. There's millions of people, millions of combinations of names, dates of birth. Chances are someone out there shares yours, but what if that someone is a felon? It's devastating for me and my fiance. This is Christopher Jenkins, and so is this. Aside from sharing the same name, they also share the same date of birth. But there are a couple of differences. This Christopher Jenkins has a criminal record and lives in Florida. A long list of offenses, including possession of marijuana. This Christopher Jenkins doesn't have a criminal record and lives in Maryland. Unfortunately, when a potential employer ran a background check on Chris, the criminal history of this Christopher Jenkins showed up instead. You've never smoked pot. Never smoked pot. Never been to Florida. Never been to Florida. But you got a criminal record. But I got a criminal record. Identity theft experts tell us governments that maintain criminal record databases need to set up a better system so that when there is a problem, there's an easier way to challenge it. Has this impacted you, your relationship, your relationships with other people? I mean, is it just taking over your life? Yes. Definitely take over my life. Like, I get depressed, stressed, knowing that if I apply for jobs, I may not get it. NBC4 Response learned cases of mistaken identity happen more often than you think. According to the FBI, between 2014 and 2016, more than 1 million people requested copies of their records. Of those requests, about 2,300 challenged the information, with more than half of those being corrected. If you fail a background check, according to the FTC, you have every right to ask why. They, they also have the right to correct any inaccurate information. Tiffany George is an attorney for the Federal right. Trade Commission. She says you must contact the company that ran your background check yeah. and ask to see the report. Right. They should have whatever information at their disposal that proves that they don't have a criminal record and that you know their identity shouldn't be confused with someone else. As for Chris, he has to carry around this folder of documents wherever he goes. A letter from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement confirming he's not the other Christopher Jenkins with a criminal record, a notarized affidavit addressing the mistaken identity issue, and a set of his own fingerprints to prove he's not a felon. It's a lot to deal with to prove you're a good guy. It's devastating for me and my fiance because I'm trying to make a better life for us. And if I can't get the right job to provide for the household, it's hard. It's a struggle. Now, you can check with the FBI to determine whether you have this unknown criminal history. And you can also challenge it. We have a link for that for you right now on our NBC Washington app. Just search mistaken ID.